those that are have family members that are also the ones that are also listening and the ones that are not listening. Pray that you cover them with a head protection from their head, crown their head to the soles of their feet. Pray that you cover their houses, their homes, their cars, their jobs, wherever they're going. Pray that you protection over them. Pray that you can fill their spirit, Lord. Open their eyes, open their ears, and open their hearts. And may they see the true things that need to be shown. May they be things be revealed that are left hidden. May you come to them and the spirit and the Holy Spirit, may they understand the things that are coming out of my mouth. May they understand that these things must be brought out in all of creation, in the Creator's name. Amen. Revelations 12, 7 through 9. And war broke out in heaven. Michael and his angels fought with the dragon. And the dragon and his angels fought back, but they did not prevail. Nor is a place found for them in heaven any longer. So the great dragon was cast out, that serpent of old called the devil, and Satan deceives the whole world, and was cast to the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. Then I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now salvation and strength in the kingdom of our God and the power of the Creator have come for the accuser of our brethren, who accused them before our God day and night has been cast away. The devil is an adversary who opposes and denies, disputes reality and truth. Jesus also said the devil was a murderer from the beginning, a liar and the father of lies, evil, error, and believes in sin, sickness, and death. All evil and is animal magnetism or hypnotism, the lust of the flesh, and warring against the spirit. So warring against the spirit that leads to eternal life. So warring against God. God is not the creator of an evil mind. God is always creating a new. And there is no evil that dwells in God. Evil are all the errors of the absence of the truth. Life or love. For the light of the sun is God. For God is the light. Great is the Lord God, and greatly to be praised in the city of our God, in the mountain of the holiness of the heavenly creator. I saw still another mighty angel coming down from heaven, clothed with a cloud, and a rainbow was on his head, and his face was like the sun, and his feet like pillars of fire. He had a little book open in his hand. He said it. He had set his right foot on the sea, and his left foot on the land cried a loud voice as when a lion roars when you cried out seven thunders uttered their voices and I might have read that in the previous video but it needs to be said again now we are in the time of Revelation the apocalypse and many people in the book of Revelation we are at the end and the, we are at the apocalypse many have people have been seeing strange behavior amongst each other strange looking creatures day and night time humanoids and many other strange shift shapers animal human many have filmed them and they're on tv they're on youtube they're everywhere they saw them and they even ran from them we're in a very dark time right now like before in ancient days history tries to repeat itself there are real mythical creatures also some from the bible those that also do evil sorcery witches have made trying to create something they're all trying to create, witches are always trying to create something that they know not about. We must be very careful, steadfast in prayer, protection over our own selves, homes, our cars, our family, and wherever else we may go, out to. Bless our dwellings, weekly or so. Be careful of the company you keep or travel with. People have seen vampires, witches, and even something like zombies. So be careful what you put into your own bodies and the company you hang around for our bodies are supposed to be temples of God be weary of the activity you partake in keep in watchful keep in watchful eyes always on yourself surroundings and family keep them close a lot of these things have happened before in past years between now to less than 200 years to a thousand years be true to God and yourself 
don't consume yourself in error, which equals evil and sin or penalty of mistakes. We should be indoors by dusk. You never know what's out there lurking around the corners. Events like these have happened before. Don't hang out at night. The fall of men, Sodom and Gomorrah, Noah and the flood, Nephilim, the fall of the angels, the fall of the giants, and many more. This has happened before, and it's repeating because it's, it's made the thousand year mark. And who knows, in between time, there was always something happening, and there was always a war going on. to God. And if the kingdom belongs to God, fear not, for I am with you. There is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear. And that's First John 4, 18. There is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear, because fear involves torment. But he who fears has not been made perfect in love. First John 4, 16. And we have known and believed the love that God had for us God is love, and he who abides in love abides in God, and God in him and her. The creator is light, truth, divine, divine love, eternal, divine principle, purity, spiritual, creator, God, the universe, God is Lord, God equals the I am, the alpha and the omega, the beginning and the end, and dominion power over all. We are an apocalypse right very now. Look all around you. See what's going on. See that we are nearing our doom. D double O N. This is why evil increases and becomes swollen and inflamed with sin, full of lust and hate, and hates the brightness of all divine glory. We must triumph through the darkness and human fear and come up out of the wilderness and the desert with high hopes of belief that we are going to the promised land. We must trample over any evil serpents, transgressions, bondages, storms of the night and come out radiant and glorious like the bright morning star because hell shall not prevail. The eternal Elohim will not fail the universe forever and ever. Amen. God is the only life source and truth and love with God who is not error. Who is not error? We have a higher hopes because man is error and falls short. And man also falls short of the glory of God because error contradicts truth. Proverbs 19, 19. A man of great wrath shall suffer the penalty for if thou deliver him Thou must yet do to it again. Galatians 5.10 I have confidence in you, in the Lord, that you will have no other mind, but he who troubles you shall bear the judgment, whoever he is. The prophets, the angels, and the holy ones will be under attack, because there's right now, there's tests, there's trials, and there's tribulations in the end times, which is happening right now. Look all around you. Look at the news. Look at YouTube. Look at Facebook. Look at the History Channel. Look at the Discovery Channel. It's out there. We have senses. You know, senses like nose, ears, mouth, ear, and how we feel. We have feelings, and they're all for a reason. So we will know the time of things happening and when to come and be able to know good from evil. And we know what we want to know when something. So Leviticus 26, and the person who turns to witches, medium, sorcery, familiar with spirits, to prostitute himself with them, I will set my face against that person and cut him off from me and his people. Leviticus 19.31, give no regards to witches, mediums, and familiar spirits. Do not seek after them to be defiled by them. I am the Lord your God. Ezekiel 13.20, thus says the Lord God. Behold, I am against your magic charms, by which you hunt souls. They are like birds. I will tear them from your arms and let the souls go, 
the souls you hunt like birds, I will also tear off your bills and deliver my people out of your hand, and they shall no longer be as prey in your hand. They and you shall know that I am the Lord. Isaiah 8, 19. And when they say you, seek those who are witches, mediums, and wizards, who whisper and mutter, should not a people seek their God first? Should they seek the dead on behalf of the living? Why did they do that? Galatians 5, 19-21 Now the works of the flesh are evident, which are adultery, fornication, uncleanliness, lewdness, idolatry, sorcery, hatred, contentions, jealousies, outbursts of wrath, anger, selfish ambitions, dissensions, divisions, sex, envy, drunkenness, wild parties, and murders and things like those, like I have forewarned you before and now. So we were forewarned about this a long time ago in history, and we're forewarned again now, that those who practice these things shall not inherit God, God's kingdom. And let me repeat that. Now the works of the flesh are evident, which are adultery, fornication, uncleanliness, lewdness, idolatry, sorcery, hatred, contentions, jealousies, outbursts of wrath, anger, selfish ambitions, dissensions, divisions, sex, envy, drunkenness, wild parties, and murders, and things like those, like I have forewarned you before, and now that those who practice these things shall not inherit God's kingdom. Revelation 21a, but as for the cowards and those without faith, and those who are disgusting in their filth and murders, and the sexual immoral, those practicing spiritism, sorcery, and idolaters, and all the liars, their portion will be in that lake that burns with fire and sulfur bits, and sulfur. Galatians 22.18, you shall not a sorcerer, you shall not allow a sorcerer to live, you shall not allow a witch to live. Revelation 22.15, outside are those who practice sorcery, sexual, sexually immoral, and murderers, and idolaters, and everyone who practices lying, they stay outside the kingdom, not in the kingdom, outside are those who practice sorcery, so that means it's not in the kingdom, and 1 Corinthians 6.19-20, to 20, why would God allow witches, sorcery, idolaters, all that stuff? I have already named in the kingdom of God. What have they sacrificed if they've had all the parties of fun and they've gone above and beyond to do the things they've done? What would there be any joy in the people that are holy if I were, they were allowed to be in the kingdom? Does that make sense? It's not. It makes no sense at all. There's only one or two places you're going. Deuteronomy 18, 10 to 11. There shall not be found among you or anyone who makes such practices or makes their son or daughter pass through the fire or one who practices witchcraft or soothsayer or one who interprets omens or sorcerer or one who can conjure spells or medium or witch or spiritus or one who calls the dead. All of these things are an abomination to the Lord God. So all these scriptures means that this must have happened before. Else why are you, why are these scriptures here? And why are there so many of them? Deuteronomy 4.24 For the Lord your God is consuming fire. The Lord your God is consuming fire. Because the Lord your God is a jealous God. And that's Deuteronomy 4.24. Ephesians 
6.12 For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. So that means wickedness did get to the heavenly places, but they will no longer prevail. Ephesians 6.11 so put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Nam 3.4 This is because of the many acts of prostitution. Of the prostitute, she who is attractive and charming, a mistress of sorceries who ensnares nations by her prostitution and families by her sorceries. Look, I am against you. That was Nam 3.4 Foot serpents and scorpions, and over all the power over the enemy. So we have the authority. We just have to take it up. We just have to claim it. We just have to rebuke what is evil. But we have to withstand through the trial and the tribulation. We have to withstand our test. And sometimes we're tested more than we're supposed to. And sometimes the test needs to end because it shall end. It's not going to keep going and going when the test is over. One. Revelations, oh, 1 Peter 5 8. Well, I just want to tell you look, I have given you the authority to trample underfoot serpents and scorpions and over the power of the enemy. So that means not just serpents and scorpions, that means all power of the enemy that the enemy might have. And I rebuke it. And if it's forbidden, them away. That's what you do. First Peter 5, 8. Be sober, be diligent, because your adversary, the devil, walks about like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. Revelations 20, 10. The devil who deceived them was cast down into like a fire and brimstone, where the beast and the false prophet are, and they will be tormented. Salvation and glory and honor and power belong to the Lord our God. And don't forget, do not forget where you came from. Do not forget what you've overcome. Do not forget what you can overcome. And do not give up on yourself. Do not give up on other people. Do not give up on trying to save someone. But you can save yourself first because how if you don't save yourself first, how are you going to save someone else? You're not going to be able to strong enough. You must be strong in faith. You must believe. You must have faith. You must have endurance. You must have patience because the strongest are the ones who survive and go through the trials and go through the tests and are there able to help pick someone else up and tell them, hey, you know what? You're on the wrong path. You need to go this way. so wicked that I can't stand it, so wicked that I'm choking on it, it's so wicked that the air is so thick, do you understand what I'm saying, I know you see what I see, I know you hear what I hear, I know if it's on TV and I'm seeing it, you're seeing it, how long has this been going on, how many years, has it gotten this bad, it's been going on for years, almost 10 years, but it's gotten worse each year, worse. If you don't wake up, the knock's going to stop on your heart and your soul, your spirit, your mind, your body, your temple. The temple of God is what it's supposed to be. Heavenly Creator will give their revelation to them. Let them see what they need to see. Let them hear what they need to hear. Let them feed their soul with my breath. Let them give life to the dead. And I don't mean the dead, literally dead, but the dead mean spirit. The dead mean heart. I mean the people that have given up and are just walking around, but they're alive. Those are who I'm talking about. I'm not talking about the dead that has passed away because we're wrong for just picking up people and, and giving life to them. That is not our job. That is God's job. And it is 
disciples' job. 